uh, the people arrested in Nigeria, the Igbos and the and the others, yeah. Yeah, yeah. When we're raising that money, so that money was passing through my bank. Now they were, they didn't have any problem with the money coming through my bank, coming and coming and coming. But the moment I started transferring the money to the owners and these people that were supposed to get them, my bank called me. First, they stopped all the money that I was trying. Because in a single day, I sent about uh, fifteen thousand. No, sorry, I sent uh, out uh, about. Uh, 10,000 pounds. And they were like, why would you do that? I was like, I've got almost 30,000 pounds in my bank. It's not my money. They're donation, right? So I'm going to have to pay them out. I said, no, you have to come to the office. So they allowed me to send out about 4,000. And they had on to the rest. And I said, it's me. You know, that is it. No, we, we understand it's you, but... So when I went to the bank, they took me inside. And they were like, are you sure? Like, is everything all right? Like, it's not my money. Here is the link. Look at this place. Mm -hmm. That's where the money is coming from. Here in this country, you don't just put huge amounts of money in your bank and that's it. No, it doesn't work that way. Let me tell you, brother, yes, with sir. these prevailing situations, we have got into the apex. Hmm. The zenith of all of the old nonsense, yeah? We are... COB, when did this start? Not, not up to one year. It's not up to one year, sir. See people, see people as mobilized. See people who he talked to, you know, that's within what, the inner uh, that's circle. That's what Donaduk said. Donaduk was like, uh, what is he telling them? He's not saying anything so, so, so special. Yeah. And they would do anything just to get him there. So what is he going to do with them? So ah. let me take another call, eh? So that we can we can get everybody on. Okay, okay. Speak, uh, I will today. say it all. Uh, yeah. Let, uh -huh. let, let, let. And I, another thing I will tell you is that uh, yes, continue with what you are doing. I will. People are behind you. I know. Thank you, You sir. are a symbol. There's nothing they can do to you. Nothing. And uh, I trust you. You have independent mind. I do. And, and, I God sure. and I'm also financially, you. sir, I am also financially independent. So if you are going to come for ah, me, I, if you're going to come for me, I like you. You will likely I have like to, you, so you know what I mean? You likely have to have something solid that is not shady uh, before you come. I like you so much. I may not see you before I die, <laughs> but I have you. No, it's a part. I can't deceive you. Hmm. But I always make sure I pray for you. Thank you, sir. Thank you Continue very much. Continue to, and you'll be, you'll be good forever. I will. Thank you so much. You know, sir. I told you the other time yes, sir. that I'm happy that you marry Oyibo. <laughs> I also have a... See, I also you know, have I a... I also, sir, I also have a Jebu woman, as well as uh, my own Jebu matter. children, by the way. And I love yes. so much. You know, so much. you know, it doesn't matter that you have crossed well, all I get what over the place. I get what you mean. Yeah. Uh, thank you so That's... much, sir. Uh, oh, dear. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So sorry, yeah. You know, well, uh, I think uh, Ken is oh. in. Uh, yep. Ken, so, so sorry. I've got loads of people. You know, when I speak to these uh, elderly people, right, I kind of, uh, I wish it's not live so that they, I mean, I love their gist, sincerely. However, I just <laughs> have to let him go. Okay. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Uh, Ken, how are you? I'm fine. And you? Well, I'm, I'm here. I'm all right. Thanks for asking. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Time. I said there is pressure. <laughs> pressure of day. Uh, <laughs> wow. Pressure. Okay. So, pressure, as I mean, pressure, pressure, pressure. You know? Many people are, uh, are in the bank because many people are dying. Everything I do, uh, I will. Ah, my people. So, pressure to what? Mazo Yoruba. I will. Ken, you there? Sorry, I'm here. I muted you. Sorry, uh, Ken. No, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> oh, brilliant. So yeah, please. So, so please, Michael, forgive me for my last time. I just, no, the guy, it's the guy, part of it. I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't uh, swallow. I mean, can you, can you swallow laughter? You know, you can't. Let it out, can't. please. <laughs> so, so Michael, like, uh, yeah, like, like, I've, um, myself and the. The Temple of Truth has uh, pointed out from the beginning of this Jasharade uh, election. And up to now, you can see that uh, just as we predicted, that is exactly what played itself out right here. We watched the part one of the rigging, 
And then we thought maybe we'll, 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 we'll maybe probably the part two might not be as exciting. No, like as we, we, we expected them to disappoint us. I mean, disappoint us. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like, okay, and now you see yeah. now, it's not a better. I next said it's going to be better one. Now you see it's better now. But did you see what they did in Enugu? Omo. Uh, Enugu returning <laughs> officer went to Abuja with the result. When he got there, they gave him, they gave him another result. And he publicly said, this result was given to me by the INEC chairman, Mahmoud. I don't know what is in it, but I just have to read it. Omo, the reader, Omo, they announced the winner. In Nigeria, it's what I know good day. Ken. And that, that, like we said, Nigeria is a crime scene. It is a crime scene. <laughs> it is a crime scene. So, as you watch the part two, if you remember my good the part two, and then you saw, I mean, just look at that wonderful movie in Lagos State, where literally every thug in Lagos are moving from one local government to another, telling people you cannot vote for this person. Hey, don't bother. This is openly, and then they still went ahead and still announced results of those same areas. Do you want to see? Do you want to see the number of uh, Agbero's thugs? In the mega city captured in a single uh, image, Ken. Thank God you mentioned mm -hmm. that Lagos. Okay, a while back mm -hmm. they were destroying Lagos. Mm -hmm. I think it was uh, in 2021 or thereabouts or so. Uh, the thugs mm -hmm. were fighting. Guess the commander of all the thugs in Lagos. That's uh, MC Olueron. He did something very very surprising. Right, he invited mm -hmm. all of them to a meeting somewhere in Oshodi. Mm -hmm. And he told them, all of you from Lagos Island, I want you in Oshodi. Come around now. Look at this video. Um, Ken, uh, just mm -hmm. quiet, okay? This video, these oh. are just Lagos Island thugs alone. Who, young, young people okay. who have now been conscripted into the ad, that ad life by making them believe that uh, extorting people is actually a job. I'm working for NURTW. Oh. All I do is just go mm -hmm. to work. I have family. I have wife. I have children. Eh? Now they are saying I'm a thug. Maybe all of you would be rigged, attacked in Lagos. You probably will see mm -hmm. the person that attacked your own police unit in this video. Ken, please sit back. It's just a minute. Uh, what do you call it? A 90 seconds of video. A minute, 30, uh, 30 seconds video, okay? Talking about Lagos. Okay. See these thugs? Huh? They are the Lagos Island thugs only. Ken. Yep. That okay. is uh, the Tiff Numbu's legacy of 24 years. Do you see those young men? Yeah. Those are the army of young, young people that if Nubu have raised in Lagos as thugs. But my, what my, they call my, them my, the, the, Go on, sorry. My, what, what we just watched yep. is the fact that he said, my, uh, the, after using them, now they are getting being fed to the wolves. They are, they are thrown under the bus. They do that you all the them? time. They use them and dump them. When uh, they need them again, they go to the prison and release them for election. Them. When they are done with them, they you send see? them back there. Some of them, anyway. Then it boils down, it boils down to the same thing. Like what you've been, what we've been saying here on the platform, yep. that Nigerians generally they are irredeemable. You sad. cannot redeem them. It is sad. You cannot redeem them. Look at these ones. Look at how young these ones are. Mm -hmm. Look, just imagine what these ones will turn out to be if they were not being used like a rat dog. Look, look at this one. Look at those and wasteful now, energy, yeah. wasteful, exactly. uh, wasteful uh, uh, adulthood when they could be more productive mm -hmm. for themselves to their communities, to their country. That's what they have been mm -hmm. conscripted uh, into. Like, that's what they have been reduced into. Thugs. Oh. Political thugs. It's, it's how, it's could I, how could it's, I respect people like that, Ken? How could somebody say I have no, no. respect for elders when I'm talking about criminals who ruined lives? Who ruined lives? of those who are supposed to actually be the future, the our future, and they still don't give a damn. Who actually want me to respect mm -hmm. people who does that? Who did that? No, no, it's no, hopeless. no, I won't. I can't respect people like it's that. Hopeless. No. It's a hopeless situation. It is. It, I, I'm sorry. Forgive me, I'm sorry, but it's hopeless. These people are irredeemable. You cannot help them. No. It is better let them wallow in their misery. Mm. You can't help these people. You can't. Maybe, I'm not saying all of them are. Everybody is bad in Nigeria. People but have to help themselves. That's the point. If you exactly. Can, if, they, if you can't yeah. be helped, you can't be helped. There are people that cannot be helped. Right? The majority of Nigerians yeah. cannot be helped. That's a fact. They cannot. And these people that cannot, cannot be helped, they are drowning the people who are tired of being the victims of the same system. And it is, okay. it is exhausting. Let's be honest. Nigeria, Nigerians inside Nigeria... Nigeria. Before I forget, so, Ken, please. so that I can go. Yeah. 
Um, you, you, did you see the, the, I think you said it in your last uh, episode, mm -hmm. the, the grenade, the nuclear bomb, uh, it be did in his system. Yeah. Where he suddenly just smuggled in the, the drug issue and the certificates, uh, it's something called, about it, it, it's called, uh, I, I think they had a name for it. It's, it's called an ambush. Exactly. You know, they were preparing he, for him he, to prove that they rigged the election. Okay, but yeah. this guy so came back and said, "I've done my research, and my team are going to present uh, eyewitnesses to confirm truly that uh, Tifnubu actually uh, broke the law in so many places, right, including drug yeah. trafficking." Now it's now left for the court, according to Obi, to let him go. Mm -hmm. If the court lets him go, mm -hmm. then that means the court has. I mean, they they said, "Well, Nigeria can be led by drug dealers." That's it. <laughs> he would have done his own job then. <laughs> well, I tried to. Your court says the panic. Go on. But my, my, let me give you an update. The panic situation now is that it, it, uh, the people, I don't know where you remember when I told you about that, my friend, that he said the, it's an APC guy. Right. I remember. remember. Now, the guy said the panic is so bad that most, even most of the lawyers, APC are trying to gather to defend Tinubu. Most of them are looking at what the structure of the past, uh, the structure of the petition of the, will be uh, presented. Uh, and they are, they are so badly worried because one, the that she, that uh, court uh, verdict, which he paid that four hundred and something thousand dollars. I don't know whatever. Mm -hmm. It's in the it's, it's online. The, that document is online there. So which means whatever the the outcome of it, the outcome of that fulfill, fulfillment, that the judgment is that Tunubu was charged and was charged for drug uh, drug activity, heroin and, and drug it. smuggling, heroin illegal drug. money laundering, yeah. acquiring uh, properties uh, through illegal means. I mean. Yeah. If you that want a video, I can so send you a that. link. You can sit down and watch yeah. the whole 30 minutes of Tiff Numbu's drug case in America. Well, you know what I makes uh, Obi's uh, case different, eh, Ken? He's yeah. actually bringing witnesses. Okay? We investigated the case. Okay? Mm -hmm. He's bringing them to Nigeria court. But you know something? Immediately they said, mm -hmm. oh, Nigeria will not give them visa. America will get jurisdiction in Nigeria. Say, oh, see, don't boost. They don't need visa. Yeah. They don't need to they come to them. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. eh? They will give their testimony. Mm -hmm. And if your court says they no, they will give, uh, they will give your te the testimony to us online. Now we go judge. Chebi Tifnubu won't be mm -hmm. president, Abi. Drug baron, Abi. Mm -hmm. Don't take any evidence yep. to stop him. They will give the evidence to us online. Online court to judge. Mm -hmm. And let's see how you deal with that. do be so. It's a fast mode. Oh my God, the, pan the panic in the It is. Like, it is. Like, okay. But do you know Even something, Ken? That... Do you know something, Ken? Tinumbu is yeah. so confident that this whole thing is just noise. If everything <laughs> ends up, it will end up in the Supreme Court. It would rather deal with the end of the Supreme Court than start dealing with some lawyers, Damn. son, and the rest. And that is why they are trying to okay. make it look like, hey, we are going to win in court, oh, but these people are not going to accept the result, oh. That is why they are now saying they won't accept. So that's, that is exactly what uh, Kayamu and Co want to start now. To start gaslighting the people that, uh, hey, we are very sure that we are going to win in court. The court is going to, the judges are going to give us judgment. But you see all these OB people, eh? Mm -hmm. They won't accept that, that judgment, oh. They are already saying it, that they won't accept it. Sure you get now. But the whole thing is just like, eh? The panic mode, like you said. And when you are panicking, you are bound to make a lot of mistakes, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank Absolutely. You, Thank you. Let me take a look. Thank you so much. Eh? Okay, bye. God bless you, sir. Bye. That's a can uh, from the US, by the way. I have another call on the line. This time, I think the UK. Hello. Hello, Babama. You go home now. Hey, brother. How are you? <laughs> I'm blessed. Thank you. Bless anyway, you. it's going to be a quick one. Yeah. Let's go for it. Is it this issue of Tinubu? Mm -hmm. Go on. You know, you know, you know what's going to happen? Tell me, please. Tinubu is going to take heel and he's going to be sick. Therefore, he's not going to come to court. Mark my words. That's, that's, that's number so one. Easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He could use that as a yeah, yeah, yeah. not showing up. It, 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 yeah, but when it's time for sworn in, swearing in, then he's going to turn up. <laughs> <laughs> And then the court will adjourn the case. They're going to keep adjourning the case. So I don't think we're going to get any peace from that from that aspect. But what is the solution? You see, 
there's a fundamental problem here. It is. You are making a massive impact. It's about this awareness. But I wish we have the equivalence on the Igbo side as well, yeah, which is not too militant, but to have conversation and yeah, hopefully, a conversation, enlighten, broaden conversation, right? Uh, sometimes it's not always what you want to hear, but it is actually an insight mm -hmm. into what is going on that could actually help you in your private uh, small room there to understand better what is going on and, in fact, help you react to them even better. Absolutely. Well, not everybody actually Absolutely. wants to have that. No, I, 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 I understand. But yeah, go on. Yeah, really, I'm saying that, you know, because me and myself, I have um, ego friends. Right. And I'm even doing the, the I'm, do, I'm, I'm doing the, I'm a Messiah, so to say. Okay. You know, but I, I, when I'm doing their view, some views that look, we don't like because of the issue happening in the East, some don't want to be part of that. You understand? But, it's, but, Two people here. Number one, I'm just, it's a bit of digression now. Oh, it's all right. Your Go princess, right. Mm -hmm. your princess is just like partnership from heaven. Yeah, and we thank God for her. Well, I'm so lucky, <laughs> aren't we? I mean, it's not just me. Absolutely. I think it's the entire platform. We were just lucky to have her. I you really know. need to see this woman outside the YouTube and all that. Too. Honestly, you'll be surprised that why is she here? Princess, why are you here? Like, why are you with us? Right? If you see her outside. I know. But well, that's it. We're lucky. And I have many, many like her. We know. Many of you don't even know yet. I know. I, I know. Like I, don't, I don't want to give, I don't want to give, um, I don't want to pick her out of the, I know there are so I many see. that I do not know. Uh, but Go on. I, you I, have to know them. I'm yeah. going to be bringing them out soon. You need to know the women we, in my we life. Do. God, mm. God willing. You have absolutely. to know the women in my so, life. I, <laughs> Go on. I thought she challenge you. I thought she challenge you. Mm. Ask princess. To recruit people like I said, well, it's not good for her to be a leader alone. All right. We want to see her recruit people that she knows because I think she's gifted so that if you see somebody that is like yourself, Mayegun, yes. I'm sure you will know uh -huh. that you share the same thought. Even without talking, you can read that person's mind because you know you know your spirit is in that person. You know, telepathy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, princess, if you just challenge her to recruit people, you know, that uh, that are like said so that can you know be trustworthy that they can they do things with all their might with all their Sincerity, strength and they have passion for what they're doing. And honesty, and I like that. She's hearing you. Don't yes. think. Don't, don't say. I know. Uh, I know. Good, uh, princess, you are actually telling her. You don't know. She's listening. I know she's listening. And you know what? The yeah. one she said, and I keep saying that word to you. Anytime I call you, I keep saying it. I say, my ego. Yeah. Last, last. We are going to have to wear our boots, our bulletproof, our mask down to Nigeria because this thing is not a joke. You know, somebody called one day. They said, "Look, um, Nigerians are—they're uh, too weak to fight." Mm -hmm. And when I do the analysis, and I can see it's very, very true, and I will tell you why. It's only Nigeria, Nigeria that all this is. is, is um, you know, yep. imagine all the trends you will expect Nigeria to have the streets like the answers in fact that answer should have been the real thing to do to pull and to, to, to turn to everything upside down this i know but absolutely practically, practically but you know what well, when you're fighting the all the principalities like you have in nigeria there uh sometimes yes. eh, once it is not mm -hmm. uh, spontaneous enough or it is not the time it is not the time when it is the time no my ego eh, but again my ego mm -hmm, go. You see, Niger. You see, we have fundamental problems. When those children were out there, mm -hmm. Mama should have joined them. Mama Pekin, like they were saying, should have joined them. Papa, Mama Pekin, they and did. It, they did join them. <laughs> go back, see, go back onto my ego's diary political rights, October 2020. Okay. I did an extensive yes. report on answers, like okay. all the raw information, okay. how they happened, I when see. they happened, including the day of the shooting that became the symbol of the whole protest today. I covered it. Mm -hmm. You will see okay, I like that. people, they were coming out to say mm -hmm. they are standing by the children. They're standing by the young okay. people. It okay. is their I miss future. That. I miss that. It was, it was, it was I magical. See, bro, it was magical. Okay. I mean the day that. they clamped on them. Okay, I that. Mm -hmm. The day they clamped on them okay. and shot and I mean killed that. them, it was like Nigeria died that day. See, when you have the time, eh? Oh, yeah. You don't really have to, you don't mm -hmm. really need to, have, I mean, to watch all the old video. 
just go back onto my ego's diary political. Okay. From October 4th, I will do when the when the when the protest yeah. kicked off, October 4, 2020, mm -hmm. I was there. I covered mm -hmm. it all through, including Fantastic. when it switched. I mean that. Mm -hmm. Including when it switched from NSAS okay. eh, to palliative mm -hmm. crisis. Everything. Remember when they high, when they ordered their palliative for coronavirus? I saw, I saw a bit of that. I covered yeah, yeah, it. I saw that, that you know. I, I saw I saw that bit. I saw that bit. That will refresh okay. your memory. But okay, like I you will, said, when people are ready, will, yeah. mm -hmm. go on. They will do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you see. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, uh -huh. the what is going on at the moment? Yeah, is a, a fundamental theory. You see this one that happened recently that they use in um, out within uh, Badibo. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. called conflict conflict theory, hmm. and this is a uh, is, is proposed by uh, Karl Marx. Right. So. Niger, a black person we read so much, they don't use their knowledge to do good things. Mm. Yeah. Mm. They cause conflict between Igbo and Yoruba so that they can keep own the day. Divided, uh -huh. You see? And then they can yes. But you know what? That and keep yes. power. Yes. And then we come something about Michelin and theory, whereby mm. he, he that is going to rule, he who wants to reign, that does not kill Brutus. Or even wants to find a republic that does not kill the son of Brutus shall not reign for long. So, and this is the dictatorship in the story. It is. You get it. So, this is where they're going. So, like I said, they swear this will put it into and uh, there and there today. You know that democracy has come to the end. And what did that guy say, Kiamo, that he was talking about it? He said, ah, you have to pick this people up. Mm -hmm. But that's exactly what's going to go on. Before I come to going to blow look, into a full blown dictatorship. If you disagree with them, then you are an enemy of the state. You deserve to be locked up. Yeah. killed. How I do know, you think they're going to do I that? To the all, I mean, everybody. Just by no, Mayago, you'll be surprised. Though. No, Mayago, we look, um, Nigeria now, as it is now, mm -hmm. we've been enslaved. We've been enslaved. Sadly. Yeah. Let me tell you, let me tell you where it could really go pear shape, uh, Mayago. If we are not very careful, we are sleepwalking into slavery. You see, what they want to do now is they probably want to make Nigeria cashless. If right. Nigeria becomes cashless, we are in trouble. There are, as I have a feeling, these people are not acting on their own. You see, that answer is a, is a, is a, is a, is a wake up call for them. Hmm. So they want to control the cash in the, within the system. Imagine, for example, if they withdraw cash in the system now, they want to make everything, we want to go cashless. Cashless. You know, the support they are, they are getting from the, you know, from with diaspora, every, that means it's going to be monitored now because it, I bet you're going to be electronic. Anything that comes electronically is seen. Whereas the cash, it can come through different, different windows. That means as well. You know, somebody can go... Yeah, you can, you can go, they travel the aircraft, you can give it. Somebody can come from Kutoni, they can give it. So they don't know where it's coming from. So Nigeria will become that, that, that having access to that huge amount of money is influencing the uh, rising, uh, absolutely. Uh, rising yeah, discontent absolutely. in the country as well, right? Absolutely. It will That's feel it. it, will we feel will it have to yeah, yeah, we will explore. We need to explore that uh, angle of yours, uh, that theory, right? Thank you. Let me take another one. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Let me take another one. Okay, I'll let you, okay, I'll let you go. Thank Thanks. you very much. Thank you so day. much. I like the fact that uh, when oh, my friend says, let me digress a bit, or should we see it from this perspective? Oh, why don't we look at it from this angle? That is one vista thing about us on Mayagu's Diary Political that I cherish a lot. I don't take it for granted. Hi, Mayagu. Sir, how are you? Hi, Mayagu. How are you? I am very well. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Nice to speak to you again. Like I said, it's that such a pleasure. Nice to speak and thanks to you. so much for keep uh, for keep uh, trying, right? For keeping trying because uh, no. I saw you there that uh, you've you know repeatedly and repeatedly. So it's a pleasure talking to you too, sir. Please. All right. Okay. Right. What's uh, the point I want to go this evening? Hmm. Is that uh, if you look at what is happening now, these are APC government. They are preparing people to let them know that they're going to rig their election. Are they going to not the they're going to the court? Rig the judiciary too. Hmm. We rig the judiciary, yeah, like you said. 
you see, just just take it. The Fijian, yeah, uh, an able body man, yeah, was traveling and he went on a wheelchair. That tells you that that man obviously is a is a man of a criminal intent. <laughs> it's a, it's they are all criminals, aren't they? Way. But they say, oh, my Lord, don't say that about my Lord. Okay, my Lord, sorry, sir. You are just a criminal, 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 just a Right, let's try it now. I think it should be working now. Can you hear me? Yes, everything is cool. Uh -huh. Can you hear sorry me as for, well? Sorry for that interruption, okay? Uh, please go on. No, please. it's okay. It's okay. Right. So the, the, that, that tells you that the man that is going to judge that is a criminal himself who has made it obvious to you. He should recuse right? himself from the case entirely. He should not be part of it. Some people are already saying that. 100%. Hmm. The point is this, that uh, this obedience, uh, mm -hmm. I, I know, the, 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 the way we are having now, is uh, a man who is at the right place at the right time. Lucky man. And mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. But the point is of what we got to have now that we have to remember that this, obviously, OD will not get demanded in the judiciary. Let mm -hmm. everybody have a demand. So what everyone has to be preparing, you cannot, I'll repeat it again, you can't get this in by 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 negotiating with them. It can go this day by if you like, block the road from morning to night. They will not going to in fact Tinibu will not even listen to you. Hmm. It won't make any difference. The only thing that will make different that this has to be a violent because it can only get a things of a violent demonstration. Hmm. Hmm. Like a pure That's war only revolution. Way. Even Femi Fonica, they, they will run. Well, you can fight. They will run. I, there's no way we can get if it's not a, a pure revolution. And that revolution will be happening towards all that country. now. Can you not see? They are already pushing people towards that. They are not trying to scare them and say, oh, oh, hey, uh, be careful, oh. Don't, don't start uh, what you can finish. Oh. We know that you are all getting ready. You want to start something, oh. They are pushing people there, and they are telling people not to go there. But the way it is right now, I'm all, if that's not there, everybody they go last lasso. I can smell you know, it. You know, you know, the, you know, you know the, you know the, you know the arboros. You know this arboros. Uh -huh. The arboros is sure to be there. Uh -huh. Those arboros is sure to be there. Mm -hmm. Those arboros will be a weapon against them when the time comes. And it won't take Those long. Even their soldiers, even their police, they will drop guns, drop everything, and face them too. Drop everything. And that's what they fear most. They believe that that is the end goal of this whole thing. Whether they are try telling themselves that or not, or they, whether they are telling themselves that and they don't believe in it, or whether, whether they believe in it, right, they can smell it. That this whole thing, eh, the people no longer believe in INEC. No, they don't. People don't believe in the judiciary. And they believe that the moment the judiciary is lost to the to these uh, young people, that's last ghetto. Nothing they hold them again. Nothing will hold them again. And that is scary for the no. You don't, you don't know that the Aboro mm. Kinimbu have 
since for the past 24 years yep. in uh, Lagos, uh, he has amounted those kind of arbor. Those arbor, those arbor will be the one fighting him again. He has actually trained the soldier that will kill him. Hmm. When the show come to those push. Soldiers, those arbors are the ones that will fight him again. Because he used this arbor against uh, against uh, those arbors will later turn against him. Hmm. Because who are they going to fight? Who will they fight? Because this is completely catastrophic. Everywhere there will be a rotten of violence here and there. There is nowhere, nowhere. Nigeria will not even Tinubu himself, how will he accept to be a president that is where you are talking to people and the people feel that you are not a legitimate uh, president. How would you have a conversation with that how can people? You how would you them? How can you have anything to do with them when they don't even want to see how you? Would you look at their how would you look at their face? And when they're looking at you, you are, the, you are talking on a national day, you want to make brokers, budget, and they look like, now, what this, is this, this criminal? Is you will be an imposter. That's true. Imposter. So how do you have that kind of con communication with people? It's and I think possible. it's one of the battles they are fighting too. Legitimacy battle. They said that disobedient, eh? They have rubbished Tinubu's victory. That today, it's like it is Tinubu that is begging people to see him as the president-elect in Nigeria. Have you not noticed? Uh, it's like the one begging people to say, ah, can't you see me? I'm the president-elect now. Have you greeted me today? I'm the president-elect. Oh. Do you know me? I'm president-elect. Oh. It's like he's the one doing it. And he's blaming the obedient for it. He said they've taken away legitimacy from him. And they are telling him that uh, we have not even started. If if uh, Tinibu and his people are very clever, it's to actually to plan uh, an exit strategy. Because he has no legitimacy to face any Nigerian. Hmm. I'm telling you, he has no... Le that is the worst thing that will happen. If, to be honest with you, the yep. best possible thing that will happen actually to bring Nigerians together if um, in the right frame of mind is actually to cancel this election and to be a rerun of election so that we a Nigerian can believe there's nobody that came through this. because this the damage the whole situation is that even Tinubu damage in a sense that he didn't understand hmm. if this ele election was a free and fair he could have won the election nobody would care Hmm. Obi could have won it, nobody would care. So a Tuku could have won. But for the fact that rig, the rigging was so odious was so and so violent, hmm. so, so violent and right in people's face, and you're telling them, what can you do? I am the papa of Nigeria. If I do it, what the hell can you do? What can you you're do? putting well, up what, a hell what of What will you do? What will you do now? What would you do? Hmm. What would you do? I've done it. Look at do it. It, it, it's just not possible. So he has actually he has created. Do you know one of the things that gets people angry? Do you know one of the things that get people really angry is that, uh, like Tinubu actually feels like he could do whatever he likes and get away with it. Now that is so <laughs> unbelievable in a Nigeria, even as much as uh, as as uh, traumatized as Nigerians are. That's something that will automatically make them feel like, uh, who do you, who the hell do you think you are, that you can just take the police, do what you like with them, take the military, take uh, the uh, INEC, I mean, then take the court and just do whatever you like. Really? Oh my, no go easy. Oh. I hope they are already. And uh, look at it. Imagine in the, in the household of Nigeria, both in diaspora, in uh, Nigeria, Nigerians are sitting around the table with their family eating dinner. And uh, your father is telling you, your mom is telling you, you see them discussing that the president that is coming is a criminal. Hmm. What, how does that kid look at you? That your president that is coming, these are dining table talk all over. People are sitting, have those who have household, kids, 10 years old, 15. And they say that man is a criminal. The president is a criminal. Hmm. Well, where is, where is, what, which nation does he want to lead? It's a tough one. Which nation? Let me take another call, yeah. sir. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Thank that you. In tonight, right. yeah? Such a pleasure. All right. So uh, let's have uh, another caller. If you are still watching, right, uh, on YouTube and you haven't really paid your offering, okay, you can please like that video. I mean, that's your offering. It's not tough. It's free. Hello there, Hello. sir. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Can you hear me?
Yes, sir, I can hear you. I can hear My you too. General. Yes, sir. Live and direct. Wow. I can sense that. So, yeah. You are well. Yes. Uh, <laughs> now you believe it's live. So, I'm yeah. Olatunle by name from US. Say that again, sir. Yeah. Olatunle uh, by name from US. Olatunle from the US. Yes, sir. It's a pleasure meeting you. Yes, sir. And then uh, I know you've we've met many times. You've been a regular. But well, speaking directly one on one tonight, it's my pleasure. So everybody can hear you too. Please go on. Yes, sir. Yes, I just want to. There's one thing the last caller said about how kids, as in children, we go up recognizing their prisoner as a criminal. Hmm. You know. That's a very sad thing. Then what I want to say to my Yoruba people, because I'm a Yoruba guy, Beautiful. my own thing tonight, I want to say something to them, because, look, they've been bashing left and right anyone that opposes a uh, Milokan, hmm. that they are bastards, uh -huh. or they are this, they are that. Mm -hmm. Or my anyone. But, see, let me even say this before I even go. Hmm. See, Baba, since I started watching you, yes, sir. As in, I see my replica as in, my replica in you. I mean, I know I wasn't alone. How, how did I get alone? How did I get all these uh, people who listen to me if we don't have a lot in common? I know I wasn't alone. I know my thoughts, every young guy in me about Nigeria and every uh, all the criminals in Nigeria, I knew I wasn't alone. So I am back on this journey 10 years ago. I knew I wasn't alone. And I'm glad today I found a lot of people yes. like mine. So yeah. We are replica, yes. Baba. I get where you're coming I, from. I see, mm -hmm. I see myself in you. Because, Beautiful. you know, as, as, as an individual, the biggest Beautiful. thing anyone can do to themselves is for them not to know who they are by themselves. Not knowing but once you know who you are, hmm. that is the most important thing. Now, back to my Yoruba people. Yes, sir. Please, don't be deceived. Always stay on the side of truth. Hmm. All right? You know, you yeah, Supersonic jets. Elon Musk jets. Ah, hmm. eh? Yes. And you post it, you are imposing yourself on people. Who does that? No. It doesn't work that way. You said, you said people, are so, people say they are sorry. You said, okay, I think you are solving. Okay, go and go and take get your PVC. Mm -hmm. They got that PVC. Mm -hmm. You override that and you put yourself on them. Uh -huh. And then you want peace. And you are complaining that they I are mean, complaining. See, I'm not, yeah. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Now uh Kloko Kloko that 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 woman uh uh Kloko and then she put it so far any fans and Kloko so far any family. Hmm. Eh? I mean, what, what, what is this? I just hope Nigerians will not let them go this time around. Well, I hope so. Hmm. I hope so. They won't let them go. I hope they won't, they won't bow to their oppression. I mean, with the oppression and suppression. Because that's what they've been doing. Well, they you see, something is this, uh, yeah? There is actually massive protest going on in Nigeria. They are underreported. I have to say this mm -hmm. to you. For days mm -hmm. now, Che you get in Kano, yes. in Kaduna, yes, uh, in River State, okay, in Imo State, in Enugu, uh, in Kogi, where Yeyebelo comes from, right? Yeah. Yes. People are protesting that they were rigged. Nasarawa, Niger, yes. Bauchi, mm -hmm. Kad, you know, mm -hmm. all these places. Mm -hmm. But you know mm -hmm. why they haven't really mm -hmm. made it to the front pages yet? Now, because say mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they have not started their normal killings, and the likes of mm -hmm. okay, Yabu, Ati, mm -hmm. FFK, 
they are encouraging that. Mm -hmm. Once no, they start, no, no that idiot. Idiot, let me just say, idiot in Babonya. Say you get it. It's unfortunate, oh. FFK. And guess what? Eh, the same Femi Fonica yes, 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 sir. The same Femi Fonica yode had this to say about the egos not long ago. Stay back, oh. Listen, I want you to say something about it. Don't go anywhere yet. Oh, so, um, do you do you do you want me to be honest or just speak? You know, political correctness here, but I, I choose to be honest with you. I choose to be honest with you. And um, for me to be honest with you, I have to go back a little bit. But let me start with the situation that we're facing in this country today. If you believe that those that are in power in Nigeria today would ever contemplate the possibility of giving power to an Igbo man in 2023 or thereafter, then you still haven't fully understood the challenge and the problem that we have in this country today. You need to understand that the mindset of some of these people, not all, some, but those that Buhari represents, that is his own clique within the Fulani ruling class, not all Fulanis, but his own clique, who are in power today. Their mindset is that the most dangerous people in this country and the people that they must suppress more than any other are the people of the Southeast. And you need to understand that before the Civil War, and I need to go back in history because that's a damn good question and it deserves a clear answer, a thorough answer. Let's go back a little bit. Before the Civil War, these same people, he, for example, was active then. And you need to remember the role that they played on the night of July 29th, 1966, when the Northern Officers' Counter Coup took place, and 300 Igbo officers were killed in one night, including an Igbo head of state. He was involved, and many of them that are running this country in that cabal today were involved, or he supported it. They said it was to pay back for what had happened in January 15th, 1966. Now, after that, what happened? The same people unleashed their people on Igbo civilians in the northern part of this country, and the figure that is often cited is 30,000 were killed. It's not true. So, um, Are you there, sir? Yes, I am there. That is the man who is now helping the same Bokuari to rile ethnic tension, tribal uh, hatred mm -hmm. and division, and they are calling mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. the heirs of the Igbos. Mm -hmm. Remember mm -hmm. the role he played on Boy mm -hmm. in Lagos? Eh? The same mm -hmm. FK. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, that's what they do. That's what they that's do. That's what they do. Okay, that's what they do. Okay? Okay. That's what they do. Mm -hmm. Because, eh, uh, uh, your Bible will say, oh, 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 uh, Tinubu, Tinubu hasn't lost any election before. Uh, he has a state government. Okay, you see, that thing about winning is that everybody needs to pay attention to, okay? It's not just win. How did you win? Just okay? show us. Look at this idiot. On. You won, Abi. Oh, yeah, yeah, show us. Look at this idiot in the kitty. It mm -hmm. just go and get it. So far, I give a sudden election uh, advocate. Uh -huh. uh, Fire uh -huh. so so are the uh, uh -huh. uh -huh. for no way. Looking for looking for Mr. Position or whatever position from Tinubu now. God knows what he's looking for. He's gonna uh -huh. probably get something. They no, are no, all no, no, of the same no, no, no. He, mm -hmm. he does just does him back. There must be something he's backing for. All right. Only 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 case Do you know that, Sha? That is case with EFCC. Luti make it. Yes. He's still in court too. You may not see him in court all this while. Look at why he's now. They will say you keep your mouth shut. They haven't cleared him of it. Go on. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't want to the lecture is there in school. It's only about the way you do. I... I said, okay, listen, I'm your bad guy, okay? I agree. Yep. I don't have any problem with you, but you want to win. Win the right way. Win the right way. 
All this your winning all these years has been crooked way. It has been violent and manipulated. Been, yes. Eh? It's never really won eh? anything. In Oshun. In Oshun, uh, in Ekiti, in Ovi. But I don't know why you saw it. Are you installing them in fair and square way? Let me ask you. Thank you so much. Come on now. Come on now. I showed you what. Thank you, sir. You, uh, continue to do what you are doing. I will. Look, we we are here. Yes. We we are here for you. I know. Uh, I, can in see, any I, see, you I can I can tell. feel all of you around Let's me. Say you get. I can feel you, even if I don't see all of you. And that's why I said that whoever wants to try, if yes. uh, Mayegu is just that guy, try me. Then you get to know that I'm not just alone. I'm no, you know it's like when they take. It, it's like when they take you home. Uh, Okay, it's like when they take you and they realize that take your time. millions of people. Do, mm -hmm. do you think? Do they think there are no thousands of Igbo already? There will weekend? be millions of Igbo. You know, I was telling my wife the other day. Mm -hmm. I, I I saw the picture of Nancy Mandela and I said, "What to think of it? Since the day I was born, 1984, mm -hmm. since this present moment in time, mm -hmm. I cannot say any of these Nigerian leaders that I can equate their uh, uh, integrity mm -hmm. with Nelson Mandela. Hmm. I am never, I cannot be right. anyone. No, no, you are right. You are right. Because even that same Mandela was that gay terrorist, right? And after all of that mm -hmm. thing that he went through, he passed through, and including the South Africans themselves, right? Mm -hmm. He got elected president. It was pretty mm -hmm. much like the whole country wanted him to be president, just for them to heed, right? They mm -hmm. made him president. He could mm -hmm. have been a live president in South Africa. Nobody would, would dispute it. You know that. He sat for just one time. Yes. One time only. Just one. Yes. Yeah. And because then, you know why, right? Mm -hmm. He left. So, integrity. When you say, when you talk about this integrity, what you have in Nigeria is entitlement. People who feel like, uh, oh, yeah. we hold them. We hold them our lives. <laughs> that, we are busy, that we hold it to them. <laughs> so, they are so entitled. <laughs> Right, <laughs> that they are so angry, they are, so angry. They are, they are questioning them. Uh, yes. How dare you question us? Yes, entitlement. Uh, 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 yes. mm -hmm. That's what they do. That's what they do. Baba, Baba, thank, you, God thank, bless you, you, bless you, sir. Much, eh? Thank you very uh, much for stopping by. Okay, yes, sir. and uh, right. I'm so glad you you. Uh, I'll see you again. Yes, right. yes. cheers, Baba. Nice. Right. So, yes. this is where we're going to do the cuttings. My time is so up. From tomorrow, our time is going to change, I've been told. Which simply means that uh, 8 o'clock in the UK is going to be 8 o'clock in Nigeria. It's not going to be 8 o'clock in the UK, 9 p.m. in Nigeria anymore. Our time changes tomorrow from tomorrow evening. I heard. Is it tomorrow or today? Well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, tomorrow we'll find out, okay? And uh, we can share the same time. You can adjust the time. It is still going to be 8 o'clock on Mayagun's Diary Political Exclusive. Every 8 p.m. You can join me. And it's always like this. New conversation, new topic, new perspective, and a lot of people making contributions. And in most part of it, I mean, most of it, all right, it's just for you to understand Nigeria politics better and see why a lot of people are looking for a time that this hegemony this corrupt establishment, these imprisoned people will be free. Freedom is sweet. Eh? A lot is scared of even having a taste because having spent so long time in bondage of political manipulation, poverty, and on, I hope that the level at which the APC, including Tifnumu, the way they are going, the way they are going down, that they will discover crude oil down there. And hopefully you, who have a taste of what freedom feels like, the day you stand up against them and you get that energy, you get that energy and say, <sighs> and they will be gone. So you have to keep trying. Gaslighting or no gaslighting. It is Nigeria. The battle before you is huge. The principalities you are facing is massive. And none of the problems that created this whole conversation, none of them is uh, coincidental. They are man-made. The people who created the problems eh, are the people you are trying to wrestle. They are the principalities. And if you want to make any headway at all, eh, just follow me. Like they say, if you're going through hell, 
Just keep going. Keep going. Don't look back. Oh, I'm going through hell. My ego. Please don't stop. Keep going. Because uh, as they say, Bushin Rara Ye, Lun Rara If you remain as your nightmare, it won't take long. Something is gonna give. You have always been the one that has been giving in, caving in. Who knows? Eh? You may cave them in this time. If that happens, it's going to be this kind of feelings that you've never felt before, whether you are young or old. But with the way the APC is going, they've had everything figured out. They've rigged the election. They've rigged the court. They will control the military and the police. They are also spending money to buy the goodwill from abroad. Because legitimacy is gone from Tifnumbu. Tifnumbu has no legitimacy to rule Nigeria. The rigged election can be proved that he won. So at the end of the day, we have to take more brute forces, or let me say more brute force, deceit, manipulation, and including death of people who would not keep quiet. It's going to be a tough one. Like somebody said in, during the call, you've done the election, it didn't work. You want to try the judiciary, it's not going to work as well. What are you going to do next? Eh? Passive revolution or active, actionable revolution? I am Mayegu, the general overseer of the, uh, of the Temple of Truth. You can count on me eh? to guide you as all this, you know, as they start happening or manifesting. I'll leave you to that. Remember, you can still like my broadcast if you haven't. Eh? You can still share it if you haven't. And you can also subscribe if you haven't. In all, I'm going to say thank you to every one of you. I'll see you some other time. Good night.